guys, how you doing today? Um, so I got a message from Jesus today. I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh and he bled on the cross and rode on he bled on the cross for our sins and rose on the third day. Um, and he died for us. So, guys, someone had mentioned in a previous video that um I said man in the flesh. Well, I was just I thought I was reciting first John four, so um they corrected me as um it should be um Jesus Christ came in the flesh. So I claim that Jesus Christ comes in the flesh and died on the cross for us, for our sins, and rose on the third day. Someone always has to say something. You know, I'm still learning everything, and, um, you know, the Lord brought me to 1 John 4, so I thought I was reciting it correctly, and I know he was a baby born of a virgin, um, and then he grew into a man, you know, so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, someone had made a video about that, so I just wanted to clarify that I claim both, um, Anyway, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. May 29, 2023. Uh, Luke 6, 3. But Jesus answering them said, Have you not even read this, what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him? James 2, 9. But if you show partiality, you commit sin, and are convicted by the law as transgressors. 1 Thessalonians 4, 5. Not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God. Colossians 3.11, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Ephesians 4.9, now this he ascended, what does it mean? But that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. Jeremiah 12.8, my heritage is to me like a lion in the forest, it cries out against me, therefore I have hated it. Daniel 7, 2. Daniel spoke, saying, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven were stirring up the great sea. Zephaniah 1, 2. I will utterly consume everything from the face of the lands as the Lord. Joel 2, 8. They do not push one another. Everyone marches in his own column. Though they lunge between the weapons, they are not cut down. Jude 1, 3. Beloved, while I was very diligent to write you to concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. Ruth 2, 7. And she said, Please let me glean and gather after the reapers among the sheaves. So she came and has continued from morning until now, though she rested a little in the house. Guys, I've noticed that Jesus, when he gives me a verse, a lot of times he wants us to go and look at the entire um, paragraph, okay? Um, not just the verse. It helps you understand it. And um, so I think that's important to just read the whole paragraph to get better understanding. Okay, here's the message. My child, I know some of you are feeling the weight and the pull of the world. I know some of you are losing faith. Well, take heart. I am coming to save you. I told you to take this moment of silence and seek me, worship, and pray to me. I know not all of you understand what I'm doing, but you will all see it clearly pretty soon. My plan is perfect and pleasing, and I have not left anyone's side. I hear your prayers, children. I know spiritual warfare has heightened. I told you to put your armor on to stay clear of the fiery darts from the devil. What does it say in my word? It says the groom delays and the fullest virgins weren't wise and didn't have enough oil for their lamps. So they went out to buy some, but the groom had already come. Do not be the foolish virgin standing at the door saying, Lord, Lord, let us in. I will say, I never knew you. I love all my children and I wish for not one to perish. I told you they have changed my calendar. I told you they have mimicked my creations and mocked them. Reading forward and backward was my original creation. Didn't I design my perfect words to honor my glory? Are you putting limitations on my creation? I told you Daniel 12 was unsealed and I would be showing you many mysteries that have been sealed up to the very end. My children, this is the end, but it's only the beginning. Do you get it now? Do you see my patterns? I'm showing you the true outline. I'm showing you my mysteries unfolding. Have you asked me for discernment? Have you tested the spirits? You are judgmental and dishonorable at best. I have the sword coming for those who won't believe in me. I have a sword coming for the wicked. My patterns and the messages will also match my true calendar in the heavens, the Mazaroth. Why are you so focused on dates? My anointed ones speak what I tell them to speak. I have ordained them for a time like this, and they are obedient and willing to suffer for my glory. But do not fault my chosen. They speak on behalf of me and what I allow them to speak. I have no favorites. If you believe in me with all of your heart and confess I am your Lord, I will save you. You will be chosen. 
I will raise up all my chosen and children very soon. Your strength and perseverance will block any fiery dart aimed at you. I told you to believe in me. I told you to love your neighbor. So many of you are failing my test. It's important for me to show you your fruits and what branches need to be broken off and thrown into the fire. A withered branch will produce no good fruit. I am giving you a chance to examine your hearts. I am giving you a chance to repent from your wicked ways. I am loving, kind, and gentle, which is why I keep sending my warnings. But soon the warnings will stop. When the clock stops, the warning stops. Tick tock means something. Then the only way to me is to believe and die for my glory. My wrath is not for my chosen ones. Is, my wrath is not for my chosen and not for my children. I told you I would keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world. Why can't you see the love I have for you, children? Why do you reject and mock me? I warn all of you to save you. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess I am Lord. I told you meteorites are coming and rocks will fall. You have seen pre-warnings of this, but so much more is coming. Let's just say my grand finale will be nothing like my pre-show. The pre-show is my last effort to wake you up before you have to endure my wrath. Look up and keep watching the moon. You are going to see lots of rainbows all throughout the sky. My glory and my presence will be known. I am your creator. I am your Adonai. I am your Abba. I am your friend and I have spoken. Genesis 2.11. The name of the first is Fishon. It is the one which skirts the whole land of Havilah where there is gold. Job 38.11. When I said this far, you may come, but no farther, and here your proud waves must stop. Matthew 26, 7, a woman came to him having an alabaster flask of very costly fragrant oil, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. Leviticus 4, 8, he shall take from it all the fat of the bull as a sin offering, the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat which is on the entrails. 1 Peter 3, 8, finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another. Love as brothers, be tender-hearted, be courteous. Hebrews 4.11 Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. Psalm 112.5 A good man deals graciously and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Psalm 11.3 If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? John 3.11 Most assuredly I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. John 4, 19, the woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Okay, guys, that was it. Please take everything to Jesus, you know, um, Yeshua. Please, you know, call on him and ask him for discernment because so many Christians have, and he's revealed it, you know, that his words are true. Um, and I don't know everything Jesus is doing, guys. Like I said, we prophesy in part, um, but I do know he's doing something. <laughs> And, um, you know, I don't know. This started happening December 30th and it's super hard to explain. It's very supernatural. It's just like thoughts that come in my head, but I know they're not my thoughts because a lot of times they're words that I would never use that I don't even know what they are. I, I look them up. <laughs> and so, um, I always test the spirits, you know, for those people who say that, you know, I always ask who, what spirit am I speaking with? And they always either say, um, you know, Yahshua Yamashiach, uh, the creator of, of heaven and earth. Um, there's no, no one under me. Um, they came, um, to the earth in the flesh and bled on the cross and rose on the third day. Like they say all those thoughts always say that back to me. And then I always pray a different time and I get confirmation scripture like later on. And I always pray in my head, you know, that way, like the devil can't hear me. And it's like at a different time. So it's not something I'm looking at, you know, just for like, you know, further confirmation. Guys, it's hard to explain, but you know, I know in my heart that I'm supposed to do this for Jesus. You know, it's waking up his people and um, I love people and I don't want anyone to perish just like Jesus doesn't want anyone to perish. So the people that come against you know, I pray for you. I pray that you get rid of your spirit of religion, you know, because there's a lot of that out there. And I just, I just pray the Lord comforts you and blesses you and brings you peace and um, brings you a dream or a vision and shows you the truth that, that Jesus is coming soon. Okay, guys, I don't know if I said in the beginning, but ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you.
Okay, guys, have a blessed night. God bless.